And no breakdown on the calories in the lemonade. Wednesday is weigh-in day with weight loss coach Charles D'Angelo. You know, when you lose weight, it's such a personal journey. Um, and everybody approaches it differently, goes through different things, you know, hoping for the outcome of losing a lot of weight. A success. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's also, there's also a lot of threads of doubt. And negativity. And negativity. Not only with your inner dialogue, but what other people may say. But those around you, those that have witnessed your efforts before, whether they've been successful or not, a lot of people believe just because they didn't achieve the result they were after that they failed. Uh, a really great, great, great mentor of mine once told me that there's really no such thing as failure, just results. In other words, whatever you're doing, whatever strategy you're putting into place, it's just bringing about a result. And mm -hmm. you are the one that decides, was that a success or was that a failure? For example, some people losing 10 pounds is the biggest success in the world. For another person, that doesn't mean anything to them. In mm -hmm. other words, well, it's only 10 pounds. It's all how you think about what you're doing. Your thinking is what makes your success or what makes your failure. And you can't allow others to give your identity a definition. You know, like um, all addictions or habits, I know for smoking, it often takes seven times to attempt to stop smoking before a person can actually achieve that. And I, I would think that there's some uh, correlations with weight loss as well. I mean, how many of us have tried, you know, numerous diets, you know, uh, time and time again, and then always falling off of it and not, not making the, the diet um, a diet for life, a lifestyle? We're not making the association of their current situation. Oftentimes a person comes to see me and they might not have a lot of leverage on themselves of why they need to change. They've seen their best friend, they've seen their spouse, they've seen their uh, relative lose weight on my program or on whatever, and that's inspired them to change. But until they come to terms with the necessity, making it a must, making what's about to happen. Really wanting it. You have to have want to it. Do. Yes, rather than a short-term goal. Now, short-term goals, a wedding, this is a season people are getting married, of course, so those types of short-term goals are great short-term motivators. But what's going to keep you going after that? Mm -hmm. And what's going to keep you going when your best friend says, you've already lost 50 pounds, and that's kind of crazy. You're not allowed to have fruit, or you're not allowed to have this, or you're not allowed to have that. I mean, come on, you've already lost 50. When you slip and you mm -hmm. let go of that mindset that says, unless I've planned, it's not the food. But unless it's part of my plan, I'm not going to do it. As soon as you let go of that, you start slipping back into that old mindset of being spontaneous in your eating. Yeah, and then when you get there, you, um, you really can be the victim of the person that plants the seeds of doubt. And oftentimes, mind. you have to consider the source. Mm -hmm. and in other words, look at the person, and this is not to be offensive by any means, but consider who is it that's telling you this? Is it someone that is overweight themselves? Someone that is threatened? by your success mm -hmm. on a subconscious or unconscious level, you striving to achieve makes them feel uncomfortable because they're not making efforts at all, whether or not they're successful Yeah, or I not. think you're right. That plays into it. So you have to be true to yourself. And, and you really have to think of yourself as a fit, healthy person. And as soon as you make that connection, your behaviors get in alignment with that identity. Yeah, it actually really does. And just do it over and over again. Thanks, Charles. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can go to our website at kplr11.com or find us on Facebook. And you can ask Charles any question about weight loss, and he'll be happy to answer it. Well,